Hi guys and welcome back to yet another video by Antwerp. Today I'll be starting a series known as how to make an ant nest. We'll be teaching you how to make an ant nest using, using various materials. Today I will be talking about how to make a nest using AAC. An AAC is a material which is lightweight and strong. It can be found in regular hardware stores. It is spot free and absorbs water. These advantages makes it a perfect material which can be used for making an ant nest. After all the carbon work, I come up with such a design. Now, in this video, I will be teaching you how to make such a nest. To make a nest, First of all, you need to be gentle. AC is a delicate material and could crack. Do not exert much pressure. Now let's get right into the video. First, you will need a transparent glass sheet like this one. It should not have much scratches, but a few scratches is no issue. Now this is going to be used as the screen to watch the ends. Next, you will need an AAC block. Now, this is what I have, and it can it was bought for just 70 rupees or $1 at a local hardware store. Now, it may vary. Next, you will need some tools like this big and small screwdrivers. The big one is for carving out the bulk of the nest and the small one is for finishing the nest or for narrow chambers and crevices. Now before we start on making the block or the nest, let me introduce you to one of my biggest colonies. This is a yellow crazy ant colony and they are really needing some space. And this nest is going to be made for these guys. At the end of the video, we will be connecting their tubs and tube setup to this nest. Now let's get on to making that nest. First, using a scale and some pencils, mark out the outline of your screen into an edge of the AAC block. Now, this is going to be our plan sort of thing for the nest. Carefully mark out the outline with the pencil as shown on the video. After you've done it, give a 2 cm margin or 2 cm outline to this inside or inner square. Now this is going to be the place where we're going to cut out the nest. Now here is the cut out version. Now we need to smoothen it out a lot. Uh, the underside is really rough. But this is after we've cut the nest. I've cut it using a tile cutter. But you could use a hacksaw blade or um, anything like that. Now we're going to make a depression in the inner square where we're going to fit in the screen. Now this is a completely optional step, but I do this to give the nest a professional look. But you can attain a prof professional look even without the depression. Here I'm starting out to make the depression using a chisel. I'm just chipping out pieces and then we'll smoothen it out using a sandpaper. Here I've drawn out the plan for the chambers. This will be the main part and I've also drawn a plan for the entrance hole where we'll be connecting the nest to the ants. 
have also created a hydration chamber where we will be pouring in water to maintain the humidity inside the nest. Here I'm halfway through carving out the nest. I'm using a chisel which is much sharper and quicker than using screwdrivers. I'm halfway through the design and I'm uh, planning to make it a bit more deeper as the colony is large and it will need some space to live in and then I'll be smoothening it out using some sandpaper. Now I'm carving out the hydration chamber. I've added a narrow extension leading from the hydration chamber into the main part of the nest. It's not going to go all the way through but it's going to transport the water which is going to be poured into the hydration chamber into the main nest. I have finished carving out the chambers, I have smoothened it out using sandpaper and I fit the screen in and it fits perfectly but there are still gaps with, with the outline or the edges of the depression. Now you can fill up these gaps using some fevico as it solidifies and fills up the gap so that the ants can't escape. After all the carving work and the painting, this is how the nest looks. Isn't it awesome guys? Now comment down below what do you think of the nest. Now we just have to fit in the screen. But I've uh, made the entrance holes really deep into the nest as so that we can easily connect the tubing. made two entrance holes now let's fit the screen my screen has lots of scratches but it is okay this is the final product now we just need to put in the ends but before that I'm gonna screw in the nest using some screws to firmly place it in and here I've finished doing it. Now let's connect the nests together with the tub sand tube setup. Now I'll be connecting this hole with this hole using some tubing like shown in the clip. And there is the first worker guys inspecting the nest. Hopefully they will move in pretty quick. Now you can see many workers exploring the nest. I 
have made a slight mistake and that is the ants could climb into the hydration chamber so they could escape out but for the time being I place a cap on top of the hole. Now let's hydrate the nest. Using a syringe you can easily hydrate the nest. Now let's check up on them after some time. Are you ready guys? Let's open this up. One, two and three. How much ants are there in the nest guys? Isn't this wonderful? You can even see the queen ant rusting. Look at the amount of brood in there. Hopefully they will grow nice and healthy in the coming weeks. That's all for today's video guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any suggestion, put it down in the comments so that I can improve. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like the video and also show your support by subscribing to my channel.